Hi, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jahan, and this is going to be a reading if you've been seeing 777-888 or 999 like crazy. This is going to be for you. You can, if you've been seeing all of them, then obviously you can pick all of them. I also have all of the other numbers. I'll try to link them down below, like 111, 222, etc. So I'm not going to waste Anytime, I'm going to jump right in. So if you've been seeing 777, this could possibly be the reason why. And just remember, these are general readings, so take whatever resonates. Okay, so to start off, let's look at what the number 7 means. So 777, um, this is actually an, a message from your angels. They want to help you move towards the path of your dreams. This angel number is a very, very spiritual number. Um, actually, I'm not, spir I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual, and this is like a biblical reference. So um, for the last day of creation was on the seventh day, right? It is also a reference to the genealogy of Jesus, the Son of God, quote unquote. And the number seven is thought to be God's number. It represents both completion and perfection. And it actually appears a hundred of times in the Bible. So the seven tripled means its power is magnified three times as well. So some food for thought. So if you're seeing 777, I have for you, oh wow, Medican, longing for home, belonging, the original light worker. So you're definitely a light worker. Achievement. Strength. And the nine of spade, which is recovery, travel, change, location, leaving the past behind, more positive outlook on life. I actually just saw 222 on my my uh, time so you might want to check out 222 I feel like there's a message in that but yeah um, so you're a light worker if you don't know what that means that means that you your soul has a double mission to help raise the conscious of yourself and the conscious of others so your work here is to guide other souls through their life path and life journey and also wake them up you know if you're woke, help, you know, wake other people up as well. That's your that's your sole mission. I feel like a lot of you may feel misunderstood. You may long for a place that doesn't even exist. You feel like, you know, you, you just feel like you're not from this planet. You might be really, really different. Um, you might identify as queer or you just might, you might feel, you know, different. So you've isolated yourself because you feel like people, a lot of people may not understand you. And it takes a lot of strength to do that. I feel like it takes you a lot of strength just to like get up and like go out and you know into society because you you know you have different beliefs and stuff and some of you are empaths you might be an indigo child you might read tarot like myself um you might be psychic I feel like your dreams are also something about your dreams you might have very 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 vivid dreams but just to let you know, whenever you see 777, this is literally a message from your angel and your, and your spirit guides that's telling you that you should keep moving. You might be a Leo or a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but not not necessarily. Spirit is telling you to take on that energy if you're not because uh, the Leo energy with the lion is like, this is like courage, being able to step out of your comfort zone, being able to actually, you know, go on your path of being a light worker. You know, if you're a good tarot reader, start, you know, using that to help people. Start using that to help awaken others if you only do readings for yourself. Maybe, you know, branch out. Maybe you're shy, you know. Maybe, uh, you know, something to that capacity. Spirit is telling you to use your, you know, your courage to venture out of your comfort zone. I feel like if you've been through a lot, I see some sort of recovery coming towards you. There's definitely a change of location and travel. And spirit is urging you to leave uh, leave the past behind and try to have a more positive outlook about life. Seven seven seven. I feel like you are manifesting some sort of achievement. 
And again, you have your spirit guides that are guiding you. And they're, they actually are saying, they want me to say congratulations to you for some sort of achievement. Let me know if this makes any sense in the comments. So let's see. It says, you are surrounded by abundance and prosperity, luxury and quality, prestige and sophistication, value and elegance. Many stories relate that Ganesh has two wives, success and prosperity, which is uh, Sidi and Riti. The symbolism, of, the symbolism of these two women and indicates that if you walk on the path set by your spirit guides, your angels, success and prosperity are guaranteed to always be by your side. The search for material success seldom brings with the achievement of spiritual goals. Ganesh wishes you to realize that by actively developing your spirituality and consciously working with the divine, you will experience positive flow on effects in all areas of your existence. When you stay connected to your spiritual nature, you have a more serene mind. Develop an accepting perception of yourself. This attitude will help your heart open to spiritual matters. A high level of self-mastery coupled with a high ethical practice will increase the likelihood of enjoying material success. As more people discover the rewards of a more dynamic and fulfilling spiritual life, this success will become the norm in society and not an expectation for a few eccentric individuals. The more relationship among humans develop into true kinship, the more humanity can achieve beyond the present limits of knowledge and material measures of success. Of success. It says, be part of a brotherhood governed by love, working toward building a happier, more loving, and productive global society. Yeah, and I, I definitely feel like because of your strength, you're moving towards some sort of achievement, some sort of ma major achievement. This could be, you know, on a, even a personal level, some sort of personal goal that you're achieving. I feel like um, you guys are definitely going to be moving out of that energy of feeling misunderstood and every time you see that uh 777 that's your angels reminding you that you see they're reminding you that you have fate destiny and unexpected good fortune coming your way so be continue to be innocent continue to be uh continue to like with your inner child like let your inner child really like inspire you to be more optimistic about life don't be too naive, but definitely, you know, let your inner child live a little. I feel like some of you missed that. A lot of, uh, if you're watching this, you might be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or you might be taking on that energy uh, to where you're very emotionally aware, you're patient and calm, and you're definitely very uh, empathic and you're tender hearted. So, um, and if you're also watching this, this might be someone you might be dealing with. Some of you might have... A Leo who's interested in moving towards you. They see you as an achievement. Or, uh, yeah, your knight in shining armor. Daring, dashing off to rescue someone. This might be a closer, a close friend or a younger person. Um, this person, maybe you cut this person off or this person cut you off. But um, if that's not the case, this person's very articulate, direct, and analytical. They might be an a air sign or a water sign. So they might be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They have a very objective outlook on life, and uh, they make fair judgments, and they're very assertive. Or a spirit is telling you to have a very objective outlook on life. Make sure you use fair judgments in all of your, your dealings. Make sure you handle all of your affairs in an honorable way, because, you know, karma is a thing. Um, you know, what goes around comes around. So make sure that you handle all of your affairs in an honorable way so that nothing comes back to bite you in your ass. And also be assertive. Go after your achievement. Go after what you want. And 777 is always going to be there to be that constant reminder until you 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 make this happen. <laughs> okay? So if this makes any sense, if this resonates, please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe and click the bell so that you're notified when I put out new videos. I love you guys, and you guys will see me in my next video. Good luck with everything, and bye. All right, hi, if you picked 888, first we're gonna dive into the meaning of the number eight. So the triple number eight is one that is seen as positive and progressive. If you've been seeing this number a lot lately, prepare for a world of abundance and opportunities coming your way in a short while. 
the number 888 is all about positive changes. So let's see what we have. Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. Spiritual practice, number 19. Happy birthday if you're turning 19 soon. Four of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles or Queen of Diamonds. Nurturing, dependable, warm hearted, lover animal, lover of animals and children. You might be an Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. If you're watching, this doesn't necessarily have to be, but I feel like you definitely take on this energy. You're very, you're very grounded. You're very practical. Some of you are keeping something to yourself or there's a need to keep something to yourself. I feel like if you're seeing 888 a lot, that means that you're spiritually awakening and there is a need for you to, uh, to establish some sort of routine or spiritual practice for yourself, be it meditation, Reiki, something that you do on a regular basis that can, you know, kind of cleanse your aura and bring you back grounded. I feel like a lot of you guys <clears throat> are being divinely guided. So if you see 888, that means you're definitely on the right path. Your spirit is trying to guide you to something. I also see like you, some of you might be trying to penny pinch your saving or you're keeping something to yourself. Some of you might be keeping a secret, but I feel like it has something to do with your finances and your money, something to do with stability. Let me just clarify here. Someone sees you as uh, as like wifey or husband material or girlfriend or boyfriend material. Someone that they can settle down with or be stable with. But they feel as though they can't or you feel as though this person doesn't open up. Please clarify it. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. Yeah, some of you have stability coming your way. It's rushing to hit news, action, air travel. Take swift action up in the air, important message. And you also have, this is my money card, clearly. So we have health, wealth, letter about money. Be positive about life, fresh start, newness, new beginnings, creative vision. So I feel like a lot of you guys might be coming up with some sort of idea. Like you just might all of a sudden come up with an idea that'll bring you a lot of change, like a creative idea that'll bring you money if you're looking for stability with the Four of Pentacles. Um, I feel like with the spiritual practice, this will definitely help you achieve that. I feel like there's a need for you to quiet your mind and isolate yourself and keep things to yourself. Don't tell people all of your goals and aspirations. You know what I mean? With the Four of Pentacles, there's definitely a need for you to keep th some things near and dear and guard it with your life. Don't, you know, don't tell people what you're planning. But you definitely, when you see 888, this is going to be a constant reminder that this is coming for you. It'll be clarification. Um, a spiritual practice will help ground your day. It may trigger observations that lead to life-changing breakthroughs and ideas. What did I say? There are many ways to maintain a spiritual connection through a, com a, a committed practice. Ganesh is asking you to reflect on the benefits that may be gained by following a specific daily routine for your spirituality. This might include prayer, meditation, or an exercise schedule that connects the body, mind, and spirit, such as yoga or tai chi. Additionally, consider burning incense, which, which is often used to accompany prayers, invocations, and spells in many cultures. As the incense smoke rises up to the heavens, it is said to represent requests reaching their destinations and meeting with approval from the divine. Incense is also believed to have property, properties that dispel negative energy. Use incense or burn sage to create a special haven for yourself or to clear a sacred space in preparation for a special occasion or ceremony. The smell of incense can also bring about heightened spiritual awareness and realization for the user. There are many tools and techniques that you can use throughout your day to preserve or regain tranquility. Even simply taking a deep breath can restore a spiritual connection. Find what works for you and dedicate some time to, for your spiritual practice. So like I said, <clears throat> like, like example, I feel like if, if you can just find some time to actually sit down and meditate, 
it'll just finally hit you like an epiphany will hit you like maybe I shouldn't open a hot dog stand and not hot dog stand will literally like fund me my lifestyle it'll bring everything that I've been trying to manifest into fruition like literally like this is what this is telling you and 888 is a constant reminder until you do that you're going to keep seeing 888 it's this you're like you're being your guidance is divinely guided if you've been praying for a change, they're trying to, your angels are trying to guide you to that change. So you just have to, you know, answer the call. I feel like also pay attention to your dreams. Some of you might feel like you climb stairs in your dream or you might see um, like ancient ancient sites in your dreams. Like, uh, like, you know, something to do with ancient Egypt. If you're from Egypt and you're watching this, shout out to you. I can't wait to visit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just honestly feel like there's something about your dreams. Something in your dream state also is trying to tell you something. But, yeah, you definitely have, um, with my money card here, you have money coming in for you. Some of you have definitely also ascended from the 3D into the 4D, 5D. So Akasha exists in the fifth dimension as the library of souls. All soul contracts, history, gifts, lessons, and more exist here. We each have access to this information of the past, present, and future and can tap into it at any time. While we have free will, there are also points on the timeline of our lives that are predestined or pre-planned. Soul contracts are agreements that were made before incarnating. It could be a company you choose to work for, a relationship you plan to have, or a person you agreed to mentor or help. Whatever it is, know that it is divinely guided and will not bypass you. If you're waiting for a sign to proceed, this card is it. You're likely living out an important part of your soul's journey and you're exactly where you need to be. This is a very exciting time for you indeed. It's time to call in support of your helpers, both in the physical realm and the spirit world to, world, to trust the signs coming, to take note of your dreams, to notice any feelings or visions that you receive. For you are tapping into the wisdom of the Akasha and you're being given the go ahead to proceed. So yeah, <laughs> this is this is 888 for you guys. So I hope this resonates. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, make sure you like, comment, like, and subscribe. And I wish you the best of luck in everything you do. Just know that there are no limitations on your life. You can lit like literally, if you want to go to uh, to the moon tomorrow, if you set your mind to it and believe you can, you can do it. Trust me. So, good luck. I love you guys, and thank you so much for watching. Peace. All right. So if you've been seeing nine 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 a lot, first we're gonna dive into the meaning of the number nine 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 nine. So the meaning of the number nine is completion. The number nine is the last single digit. So when you see this number everywhere you go, something in your life is ending. It will be complete uh, or be completing soon. Um, this could be good news or bad news when it comes to love. A relationship may finally be ending after trying hard to make it work. Um, when you encounter a sequence of numbers such as the angel number 999, you should know that it holds a very strong and powerful meaning. Um, and if you're seeing it everywhere, it's a message from your angels to be benevolent and compassionate in your dealings. Okay, so let's see what we have here for 999. I definitely know 999 uh, deals with completions. You are already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Childlike expression, judgment, for a spades, truth, truth, making time for yourself, standing back and reviewing situations, slowing down, relaxing. Okay, so if you pick 999. If, especially if you're like if you're a Scorpio or dealing with a Scorpio or if you're an air sign Libra Gemini Aquarius or dealing with the Libra Gemini Aquarius I kind of get a sense that something that you felt was dead and gone from the past is 
is kind of presenting itself again for like a second chance. Maybe this person wants a truce. Um, I feel like also because you're seeing 999 because you're awakening. You're starting to awaken and not only awaken like generally awaken like a spiritual awakening but I also feel like you're awakening to the fact that you need to kind of slow down and take a step back and you need to really really review a situ uh take a step back to review a situation so that you have a clearer head. Um I feel like you definitely are on on, on the right path believe it or not. If you've had doubts, it's saying you're already doing it. Stop overthinking and keep facing your true north. So whatever uh Whatever road you just, you've decided to go down, I feel like this might be, uh, you know, the right thing. You're over, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Get out of your head. Stop making up uh, horror stories in your head that don't exist. Your thoughts aren't necessarily facts, you know. So get out of your head. I feel like some of you might be finally healing from a situation. Maybe you guys, um... We're in the hospital, maybe you were sick, a mental, uh, not a mental, excuse me, like a, um, a physical illness that you're healing from, possibly. We also have childlike expression. So this is just telling me that, um, you know, be passionate about life, but also look at life through a child's eye. Because children are very optimistic, you know what I mean? They're not negative, they're not pessimistic. Um, try, you know, and try to be more like that. It says, in truth, within every soul exists an aspect known as the inner child. You can champion your inner child's emotional life by listening carefully to what you need and want in your own heart. You may have been taught to give up your own desires for the sake of others, but this is not necessary. Ganesh is bringing the guidance that not acknowledging your desires and needs takes away from your life force and depletes your spirit and it also drains your energy. As a child, you were a sensory expert. It is now time to re-stimulate your inner child's ability to look, listen, touch, and explore the world in order to reconnect you with your emotions. Practice trusting your inner knowing or senses. Give your inner child love and a voice. Express your true feelings. Connect deeply to yourself on an emotional level by allowing all of your uncomfortable feelings to reach the surface of your awareness and be seen and experienced. Find patience and joy in simple things. Take a step away from acquiring material things and take pleasure in the wisdom of your own soul. Love, respect, and honor your inner child. Allow time for play in whatever mode that pleases you. Be it socializing, singing, yoga, travel, taking a walk, dancing, meditating, or writing. This is how your inner child operates. It knows no boundaries, holds no expectations, and loves unconditionally. Okay? Um, but I feel like there's definitely, if you're seeing 999, it's a constant reminder of all of this. And it's also a constant reminder to don't neglect your own needs and take time out for yourself, especially if you're, you have the tendency to overextend yourself. Um, but you're definitely, I feel like you're rushing ahead. I definitely see some news, um, some action news that's going to have to cause some sort of movement in your life coming with, but within eight hours, eight days or eight weeks. And it's going to have to cause you to take a swift action. It's going to be a really important message. So, uh, be, you know, be on the lookout for that. Because your overall energy was the Eight of Wands. And underneath that, you have clarity, truth. Um, so you're going to have clarity of this. This is coming, like, in really, really fast. Maybe this is a situation from the past or a person from the past. Or um, an opportunity from the past that may be, you know representing itself and there's going to be a need for, to take swift action and with the 999 you're guided uh, don't be afraid to you know to take the leap because you're guided to do this it says do not question things so much you're on the right track you're uh you're facing the right way stop overthinking it it's happening and you're closer than you think you are exactly where you need to be and things are moving at the perfect speed. Do not rush it. Now is not the time to be impatient. Now is uh, the time to walk steady. There is no rush. What you are building is being built. What you have planted soon will blossom. With every new day, a new brick is being laid. You have come a long way. The foundations are steady. Now all that is needed is for you to trust and keep walking forward. 
If you thought that things should be moving faster, that's just your ego comparing your rising to someone else's. Comparison is not your friend. Stay in your lane, water your own garden, knowing that your time to bloom will soon come. Okay? So 999, I hope this resonates. Let me know in the comments if it does. 999, <laughs> good luck with everything. Oops. And you guys will see me in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. Okay, bye. <laughs>